Um, there's like an easy mode where you don't need any cabling or anything like that, but we're going to use the cabling method just because I feel like it's the simplest, the most amount of devices are set up this way. So I think if you just kind of keep the same pattern of how you go about uh, setting up devices, it kind of just builds that repetition and makes you better at it. So what you'll need uh, for this particular method here is you will need the M12 Ethernet cable and on the other end we have an RJ45 to plug into our hardwired Ethernet connection. Then here we have an M12 connector for power. And see, as you can see here we have some different blinking lights and whatnot. We're going to go ahead and press and hold this mode button right here. We'll hold this button for like 10 seconds. Uh, after you press and hold this for the 10 seconds, when you go and release it, you should see the indicator lights uh, make a change. Alright, so this is what you should have after you do a factory reset. Every time we do a video, we do a factory reset and go through the process of setting things up a couple of times. And whenever it comes to a factory reset, it seems like every time the factory reset never wants to work for us whenever we're shooting the video. So you may have run into this issue where you have to hold the factory reset for 10 seconds and then you let go of it like it says and then it still don't work and then just try it again. Just do the process a few times. Uh, I, I've experienced that with a couple different devices that when you do the factory reset that uh, sometimes it just doesn't reset on the first time.